That is right. And how are you feeling? Got John Riggs here with a game I've been looking forward to for a long time. This is Shadowgate. One of my most favorite games for the NES. Uh, I went through a Kickstarter campaign for PC a couple years ago, and I was like, man, I want to play it so badly. But I'm not a PC gamer, man. i got to have a controller in my hand. Fortunately, they have released it for PlayStation 4, for Switch, Xbox is included in there as well. And this is a reimagining of the NES version of Shadowgate. I'll show you a little bit just through the beginning parts. If you remember Shadowgate as much as I do, it will look familiar, but not one-to-one -one exactly the NES version, which is a good thing. It makes it into like a new experience, a familiar experience, a new experience all the same. I'm going to start this. Now, if you have to have your retro experience, check this out. Go to the options. There actually is a uh, uh, audio retro. There you go. Check this out. <laughs> I might switch back to that a little bit here. In the meantime, let's just show you the, uh, the game as is. You can also do it if you remember Shadowgate for the NES. You have to keep lighting your torches. However, uh, in this version, the torch never runs out. Like I said, I'm just going to start a normal. No hints, no tips. Not for now, anyway. And we'll just show, see a little bit of this game. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. I am so glad that this game is available. I loved Shadowgate. Actually gives you a little storyline. A great quest. Now we're gonna watch all this here. Certainly it shall be these things. Alright, let's get right but through it here. You. you can watch that on your own time. <laughs> I'm here to play the game, buddy. This game's so cool. Alright. So here you go. Kind of familiar, again, like I said. But not exactly the same. But you have this skull down here. And gives you a little tip sheet. Okay, circle. Hey, there's the key. All right. Grab it again. Here's your key. Perfect. You got your bag. Hit square. I'm pulling this on a PlayStation 4. This is PlayStation 4 footage. Uh, but we'll look the same on whether you do Switch, whatever you might use. You got your wheel here. Use the metal key on the door. Here we go. Then you remember what happens when you walk in here. You see the corridor. You see those eyes looking at you from the background. Blackmere was a fool to send a child to do that which even the vaunted Circle of Twelve could not. Contain my growing power. Come if you wish. It makes little difference. Seal your fate within this living castle of the dead. Now, although living castle of the dead is kind of an oxymoron, uh, I thought that was pretty cool here. And up here, that's your uh, skull. That's Yorick. Uh, that's going to be your, give you tips if you need it. But if you remember Shadowgate, you grab the torches, grab a couple of them here. And then uh, there's a key that goes in the door here, but I can't find the key yet. But you look over here. Oh, this opened up. Grab the key once again. Now you have your from bag, and I'll show you a couple things here. You got your legend. Uh, let's From the bag. This is your bag. These are all the things you have in your bag. You can also go back and forth too. Uh, you got a sword. You got a sword and shadow gate for the NES. But use the key on the heavy door. Alrighty. Now you can go inside. Yep. There's the door. You can open the book. Something shifts under your feet as you approach the book. There's this guy down here. Hey, found a piece of paper on him. Alright, and a scroll. Another scroll over here. Fascinating. See what I mean? It's like familiar, but not exactly the same. And what's this over here? Hey, look at that. A little hidden passageway. Now we can look at the wheel here. Here's the wheel. You can look at something. And that's not going to look at anything there, but if you want to look at this guy here, open your wheel. Look at it. All right. <laughs> So you can also combine items, you know, if you need to uh, use items, open things, you know, like you have to open, well, I can't open the guy here. Don't find anything in there. But let's say you have your, you can scroll through different things here. Like here's your scroll. You have to like use dusty scroll and skeleton. Nah, no, don't do that either. So from your bag, 
That's yourself. <laughs> but maybe I want to, uh, you know, look in the bag, go to the archive, and then from here, that's when you have to, like, you know, okay. Really, you can, like, get a closer look at it if you need to. Tells you what it says if needed. Yeah, oh, pretty cool here. You can also add things to your hot menu too. I want to show you that. Like maybe do the torch for your hot menu or the sword. Hold square. There you go. They got in your hot menu. The hot menu is easy accessible. L2 backs up if you need to go back a room. Nah, that just tells you what uses what, where, whatever. And then you also have your map screen. And of course, the more you, you know, play the game and whatnot, the more you can <laughs> find out where you're going, right? I'll play this game just a little bit longer just so you get a, you know, kind of get a feel for the game again. This is a classic screen here. Very iconic screen here. Can't go across that yet. And go through here though. You remember how to take care of this guy? If you said use the torch on that guy. You'd be right. And pumpkin. <laughs> that wasn't in the original one. I don't know what's going on. We'll go through here. Lux, like I said, it's familiar, just familiar enough. I'm going to go in the options here. is on retro just for fun. Get that cl old school classic feel, you know what I mean? You can hit it. <laughs> oh, the door behind me is locked. <laughs> How's that for the transition? Remember those? I don't know, it's just fun. I'll show you a little bit more before I stop the video here. Man, because you just, you just remember so much about this game, like when you get there, you're like, oh yeah, I remember this stage. I know what to do. Can't get past it yet. And then there's things like this guy floating around. No, it's just so fun. It's just, it's a total throwback. And I'm so happy for it. You know, open the scroll. That way you can look at it. Go through this door. See what we got. Remember this screen here? I gotta grab that. But now check this out. You have to... From the bag. Outfit. You have to equip your shield. If you don't, it's bad news for you, for sure. 
All right, so again, this is Shadowgate. It's available now for uh, home console, Switch. I'm playing this on PlayStation 4, and so much more, too. And I can't... Um, I'm just looking forward to playing this more and uh, looking forward to maybe seeing your videos when you play it yourself. Been a long time, man. I used to play this game all the time for the NES, and it's just familiar enough, yet just something enough where it's like, ah, oh, I don't really, I don't really remember what to do next, but you know, I have an idea, right? I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Al. Always more videos are coming up. I'm glad this game exists. This is this is a throwback for sure.